um, welcome back and um, this time I'm going to use Java again to uh, demonstrate about um, Java um, trait um, synchronization so um, we're going to create a, a new keyword um, a new um, project this one is called um, um, traits synchronization okay trait synchronization so um, let's just start Again, let's just start again our exercise before. Okay, let me just. Um, this one is we're going to create a new um, student. Okay, students, and for this student, it is able to um, 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 have two method which is public boy um, to study, and for this study, it's a long task which is gonna make a follow up until 10,000 times and it's gonna display I am studying a few dots here uh, then it is able to make public void um, to listen um, to music okay and it's going to uh, make a for loop for um, 10,000 times and then it's going to display uh, I'm listening to uh, music okay then um, we're going to create two threads to um, to um, run this. So um, threads, um, um, studying threads equal to new um, thread. This one is what we made last time. So let just me make it quickly. A new um, runnable. If you don't know how to create this one, just watch my previous video. Uh, this one we're going to um, create a students over here. Students std equal to new students. Okay. If you run in older version of Java, you should put a um, final keyword over here. Then you take the student dot um, to um, study here. So you create a study thread and ask the student to study. Similarly, you're going to create another thread. Okay. And inside here, which is music thread, you're going to add the student to um, listen to music. Okay, and um, when you start the two um, threads, study thread dot um, start um, music thread dot start. When you start the two threads, they're going to be executed alternatively one by one. Okay, okay, but not sequential manner. Sometimes it's executed studying, sometimes executes um, listening to music, sometimes sometimes studying, sometimes listening to uh, music. You know, say studying the music, studying the music, alternatively, but in parallel. Okay, um, but in several cases, in several situations, let's say um, this student himself, herself is now told by the main method here to execute in parallel. However, for some um, reasons, uh, let's say for safety, or let's say let's um, let's just imagine in this case the mother said um, to student that you shouldn't um, start study and listen to the music at the same time. Uh, Kalesa, whoever tell you to do so. Galaxy, um, they create the trait for you, but um, you shouldn't study and listen to the music at the same time. Or this student side, um, Galaxy of the main method tell him to run uh, the study method and the student method, um, listen to music methods. At the same time, he's not going to do that. So in order to make sure that the main method is not able to tell the students to do so, you're going to just make synchronize it, a synchronized kit synchronize keyword over here okay and then I'll put synchronize keyword over here okay you synchronize it synchronize the two methods so this one is for safety of the student implementation so if other people let's say inside the main other classes create create traits in order to execute them in parallel they will not be executed in parallel they're going to execute one by one so in this case you know say if you run this one now if you run this one now Okay. so it won't study first then music okay it will not run um, in parallel let's see from here it will not run in parallel it will for sure um, um, do one by one let's say we start from here so we start from studying okay okay when it's completed studying then it's going to run there then it's um, um, run the listening to music so even though this one you the main thread um, main method create two threads in order to run them in parallel but they are not going to be executed in parallel because they are now synchronized already so this one is the first way of synchronizes and um, you can synchronize the two methods inside um, um, one class by facing the two synchronized keywords 
okay in the method you would like to synchronize there is another way to synchronize instead of synchronize that whole um, uh, method you can synchronize the object that you're using inside the thread so you can uh, synchronize put the synchronized here synchronize okay put the keyword synchronize here and you're gonna synchronize the student object before calling to um, its method here okay synchronize the students object before calling to its study method here similarly you're gonna put um, synchronize um, 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 the student object before you call to this method here so in this case you can synchronize an object okay you can synchronize an object so even though you don't put the synchronized keywords here even though you don't put the synchronized keyword here uh, you do put them here means you synchronize the object and if you execute this one you'll see they won't be executed sequentially in sequential manner okay they will not be executed in parallel Okay, we're going to drag up and start here. So it's going to study first, study first. When it's completed studying, it will move to uh, listening to uh, music. Okay, so it's completed studying already. So it moved to music, music, on music. On. So this one is for um, a thread safety manner, a thread safety. So um, your object is called thread safety right now because it is not going um, um, it's not going to be executed alternatively in parallel. Okay, but it's going to wait for one another. But if you run it this way, so it's gonna be slower, okay, comparing to um, if you executing it um, in parallel, not in this situation, but um, in general, okay. That one is about um, the synchronization um, keywords. Okay. Um, there is another one for synchronization, but um, that one is um, object monitoring. Um, I'm going to explain in um, the next video.